Hello, people of the interwebs. Welcome back. I am going to be unboxing this Tokidoki Zodiac Unicorno, and I'm not quite sure what to expect from these because these are basically a Metallico recolor of the Zodiacs that they released last year, month by month. Um, I'm not thrilled at the idea of recolors, but I got this case because A, this one looked really cool in the pictures, and B, I figured I'd get a case, open them up. If any of you are curious, you can see in the video if there's any that you want. Um, and I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to keep, so if any of you follow me on Instagram, you can message me if, um, you want any of the other ones besides this one. But um, this is what they are supposed to look like. And I am not quite sure how they'll look. Um, I know how everybody feels about the Sagittarius one and uh, it doesn't look that much better in this version, but hopefully some of these will look at least kind of cool or interesting, but we shall see. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these. This is what they look like and there are 12 of them to a case and I think what you get is essentially this is the entire series I don't think there is a chase but you get one of these in each case because then it equates to 13 and that would be not the amount that's in the case if that makes any sense anyway so I'm gonna start opening these the the boxes for these look a little small not like the regular ones so i'm not sure if that's on purpose or if it means anything but this is what the box looks like and this is the entire series so i'm going to go ahead and open these oh this is interesting all right so you get stickers i think um, yeah, I think these are, yeah, these are stickers. I wasn't sure if these were, um, uh, temporary tattoos or stickers, but they're definitely stickers and it's the entire series in the stickers. So that's interesting. This is the little booklet that you get inside. If you've ever bought any other Tokidoki's, you know that these always come inside each box. So, um, there's that. Standard bag. Let's see what this one looks like. Where's the, there it is, here's the tear tab. So here we go. So this is, and I don't know the name of these, so I will be looking them up. This is Pisces. Um, I mean, yeah, it is cool. So the hair is matte blue. The rest of the body, well, the face and the top half of the body is glitter. Very, very glittery. And the bottom half is purple with a star I mean yeah I mean it looks cool don't get me wrong this is silver there's a gem up here and it does look really well done like I don't see any yeah, I don't see any paint mistakes or anything and I will say I do like this coloring better than the original but again they've done so many recolors in the last couple series that I'm a little bit frustrated with it uh, as are a lot of other people if you talk to people in the group and this feels very light I will say compared to some of the other unicornos um I have a feeling the body part is hollow which sometimes they do do that but I don't know I'm, I'm not thrilled at the recolor that said the color of this is really pretty so I'm gonna put that well, let's see if it stands yeah okay I'm gonna put that up there I'm gonna try to get the boxes out of the way so there's that, hang on a second. Let me just tuck this in, because it's gonna get in the way. There we go, okay. So here's the next one. And I'm not gonna show you guys the inserts, but they all come with a sticker and the pamphlet. So here's the next one. This feels really lightweight too. Like, I, I'm not loving that either. All right, this one is Cancer. And again, really hollow. Like, can you see? Like, it's it's just really hollow. Not just in there, but in here too. Now, kind of cool with the gold and the red. And then it's got a chain and it's got a little green gem here. But it just, 
it feels super lightweight. None of the other ones that I've opened in the previous series have felt this lightweight. Um, and I don't know if they're trying to save on material or I don't know. I'm so, I don't know, you guys, if any of you have gotten any of these and have opened them, comment and let me know what you think. I'm a bit disappointed at the weight of these. They feel very, dare I say, cheap. And at $14 a piece, they shouldn't because the prices have only been going up. But that's just me. So there's that one. Yeah, super lightweight. Ugh, oh, and here he is. The weird conglomeration of, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I mean, this is better than the original version, but this, I, I, I still don't like it. And the weird little hair tail and the angel, I don't, y'all. I didn't like this in the first version. I don't like it in this version either. But like, here's what it looks like for anybody who's curious. Um, the wings are flocked, but I, I don't, I don't think that adds a whole lot to it. The uh, horn is clear, if you can see that. But yeah, I'm not thrilled with whatever this is. And this also feels very, very lightweight. So. This one is, okay, what is this one? This one's Leo. Um, kind of cool. I like the wings. I, the, I don't know if it's coming through as much on camera, but the glitter is really packed into this one, like chock full of glitter. Um, it's got a bronze crown. It's got a little lion's tail. But even this one, I'm telling you guys, they feel really lightweight. It's odd to me how lightweight they are. I'm going to stop saying that because I'm sure some of you will get irritated. But I, I'm not used to this, especially with Tokidoki. Their toys are usually, art figures are usually fairly substantial. These don't feel substantial at all. So there's the Leo. This one is, oh, that's odd. What is this one? Um, Libra? Yeah, it's Libra. You guys, this is like completely hollow. I wonder if I could like pull it apart and open it because it is completely hollow. Um, yeah, and I don't like this color combination either, this yellow and purple situation. I'm not, what is happening here? I don't know, y'all. What do you guys think? I'm not loving this color combo at all. Like I'd prefer it to be all purple because this kind of see-through purple with the hollow glitter in this part is really pretty. I don't know what's happening here. Oh, not loving it, you guys. Next one. This is, okay, so I got the blue version of the Gemini. Um, pretty cool. It's kind of uh, pearlescent, kind of frosted white. It's got a silver frosted crown. The You've got the two here on the, the two figures here on the side of the body. I like the color combo. The kind of baby blue and the icy white is really nice. So there's that one. Next one. We have, okay, so this was what I saw that I loved. It's this, uh, yeah, okay. This looks just as good in person. So the body is flocked, which is really cool. It's kind of soft to pet. Uh, the hair is a dark black, but I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try to get the, yeah, you can see it right there. There's a uh, hollow glitter on the inside. So you can, you see it when you turn it. But like, I really liked how the color combo, of this is really good. The bronze horns, the bronze necklace here, 
the bronze tips, but then this is silver. Like this, I think, is probably the best one out of the entire series. Um, and it's not my birth month, but I am going to keep it because it just it's just really pretty. Like this is a 10. This is a one only to make this a zero. I mean, you know, so like this is really cool. I really love this one. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Next one. All right. Ooh, this one's really cool. Okay, so this one's Capricorn. You guys, this one's really cool. So it's white and then it's teal, but the white has these hollow, like silvery hollow um, glitter inside. And the teal has either the same and it comes across as teal because of the teal or it's teal. Look, you can see it. It's just really cool. I'm going to try to move it around for a, a second so you guys can see all of them. And then the, the shape, I love the shape of the horn. I love that it's silver. I love that this is silver. Again, very successful color combination choices on top of just throwing in all the glitter. So, um, very cool. I like that one too. All right, we got four more to open. This one. What do we have? Ooh, that is cool. Okay. Okay, I'm impressed. This is Scorpio. So what's really cool about this is it, I'm not sure what you guys are, you know, going to see based on your settings and whatever, but it looks black to me in the camera, but it's a really dark, like raspberry red. Like, can you see the color right there? And this is silver, but then the scorpion and these little things are, can you see how it's darker? It's like, um, like a, not black, but kind of a pewter color. It's really neat. So, and then you've got the same with the markings here, but then you've got the scorpion tail in silver. So this one's really cool. And then you've got, okay, first of all, I love that, look, the little guy here. Can you see it? I'm not sure if I, the camera's going to pick it up. The The little guy's got a happy face. So even though it's a scorpion, it's it's smiling, super cute. And then he's got the these little claws coming forward onto the silver. And because they did it in two different colors, you can really see it stand out. And then you can see the uh, tail. Like, this is really cool. Love this. I would consider keeping this because just the color combo is really neat. It kind of goes along the same lines as these guys. All right. Next one. All right, so this one I'm going to assume, yeah, is Taurus. Um, It's okay. It, it's cute. It's all the purple that this is. So this same purple here and here, but it's the hair is black and then the horns are white with the silver tip. And um, he's got a little like nose ring here. I'm not sure about this, the, the little like cape, but it's flocked. So I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, the color combo is not bad. I do think that the red or orange sort of stands out compared to purple, silver, and, like, charcoal. But it's okay. It's cute. There you go. Oh, hello. Man down. Okay, two more. And I will take the camera down so you guys can see what they look like head on. Okay, there we go. Oh, did I get both? Wait, who is this one? Hang on. Uh, this is Pisces, my bad. Uh, this one's cool. I like this one because the, the body is pink and then there's a little bit of pink right there. They did a good job of doing the contrast so that you can see everything. And then the crown is silver, but there's a little bit of purple up here. And then you've got some markings all over the body in purple and, you know, Technically, these are supposed to be Metallico, not glitter. Oh, hang on. So there are 
I, I saw somebody online comment that it's a little frustrating that these aren't actually metallic and they're not, they're mostly glittery, but I think all of them, yeah, all of them have some metallic element. So for these, these are metallic. The, the uh, font and stuff here is metallic. They all have some kind of like, this is sort of metallic. So they do have it, but no, the entire body is glitter and not metallic. So there is that. I love the hair on her. It's very Grecian. So you got like a little bit coming down. Same on this side. Love the hair. So. Okay. And the last one is going to be Aquarius, I think. Yeah, I think that's the only one that's left. So it's going to be Aquarius. Let's see. What do we got? It's a little tab. Tab, tab. Oh, there it is. All right. We have, yeah, we have Aquarius. Okay. She too is very gorgeous. A really, really dark blue. And the glitter inside is different shades of blue too. Can you see that? And then there's a little, I don't know what to call this, a talisman. Like there's a little pot. And then little bit sticking out she's got a pot over here look at her tail i love the details of the tail it's like water and um the hair again comes down kind of like hers very grecian kind of flowy hair um and then you've got silver metallic markings of unicornos or murmurcorno murmurcornos i guess hello um and I don't know why they started doing the little like earrings in the ears, but that's a thing. This one's really pretty too. I love the dark blue as opposed to like this one's light blue and it's more metallic. This is just all. And you know what? This is going to sound weird, but this is the one that feels the most like previous series that I've opened uh, Unicornos. Like the weight of this one feels substantial compared to this one. It feels like paper. So... Um, I don't know if that's intentional or just part of the design or whatever. I, I can't, you know, guess, but, um, this one is more like these are more like what I'm used to weight wise and these are not. So let me set these up for you guys and then I will, um, put them out so you can see what they all look like. So just bear with me here while I do this. Um, let me see. If you haven't noticed, I don't edit my videos because I'm not a professional. So what you see is what I do on camera. So I need a second here to do this and then I can take it down and you guys can see it. All right, here we go. So here we go. This is what they look like. So there they are. I'm trying to move the camera around so you guys can see all the different ones but yeah this is the entire collection do they look cool yeah some of them are they interesting i guess if you collect you know um zodiac stuff but what i have much preferred to have different uh molds and sculpts and characters yeah yeah i really would have so i'm not thrilled so you know, some of them do look cool, but I'm, I would just much rather have new designs at this point. Um, especially since I probably have upwards of two, 300 unicornos at this point, because I collect a lot of them. But anyway, that's me. Tell me down below what you guys think. Tell me what you thought of the designs, which you liked, which you didn't like. Um, I'd love to hear from you because I'm sure most of you who watch this are also collectors. So let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. If you follow me on Instagram, you're welcome to message me. I think the only one that I am going to keep is the um, Aries um, and maybe the Scorpio. But, you know, feel free to message me. And um, if you're interested in picking these up, I will probably be getting rid of most of these. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.